Hello guys, welcome to your full body Pilates session today. We're gonna to work through a full body workout today. I'm gonna to use a Pilates ball. Of course, you can always take the ball away, so I'll show you the modifications without the ball, but if you have one, I would grab it just for that extra little spice today in the workout. So we are gonna get started straight away in our tabletop position today. So go ahead and take that ball and place it in between your thighs, squeeze it tight with those inner thighs. Just take a few cat cows here to come into the workout. Drop the belly, open the chest, inhale. Exhale, round C curving through that spine. Inhale, open the chest. Rock those hips from side to side. Just take a few moments here to arrive on your mat. Find out what feels stiff. Work into those areas. Send the breath to any stiffness. That's it. Just start to connect with the body. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, are we ready to get nice and warm? Tuck those toes. Lift those knees. Hover off the mat. Just lower down on the inhale. Exhale, lift those knees, drawing belly button back towards the spine, shoulders are down and back. That's it, tap and lift. Really drawing belly button to spine, press and tap and lift. That's it, if you don't have that ball, just nice and strong through that core, squeeze those legs, that's it, lift. And lower, full body here, working shoulders, working core, working legs, lift and tap, lift. Tap. Nice and warm here through that body. From here, I want you to start taking a twist. So you're going to twist the legs over to the left, come back to center, twist over to that right side, open that knee. That's it. Twist. Working into those obliques, center and twist. Center, twist. Twisting here for another 10 seconds. That's it. Lift, center, twist. If you need to break in the middle, you can tap those toes down to the mat. Otherwise, we're hovering through the whole movement here. You're here for another six, last five, give me four, nice and controlled for three, two, one more, back to center, hold that hover, you're going to send the hips back, so crouching back towards the heels, come forward, find that hover, crouch back, forward, find that hover, take a pulse into that ball for two, hover back, come forward, pulse into that ball for two, movements back, forward, if you don't have the pole, just Squeeze those thighs together, that's it, back. And launch forward, come over those shoulders. You've got to press back, lift, press, pressing out of your shoulders, lift the chest. You've got it. press, squeeze it back, tap those heels, lift, squeeze, that's it. Feeling nice and warm through the upper body, those quads are starting to burn. Come forward, squeeze, press it back. You have 10 more seconds here, that's it, give me nine. Last eight, nice and strong, not dipping into that back. You've got it, give me six. Last five, four, three, two, one. Hold your hover, I know it's burning, last little bit. Pulse that ball up towards the sky. Pulse those knees up, up towards the sky for another five, four, last three, two, one. Beautiful, press it back, downward facing dog. Walk those heels away from you if you need to. Find your down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Sink into those hips. If you want to move here, take any movements that feel good. Maybe it's a pedal or maybe you're finding stillness today. That's it. Inhale through the nose into that rib cage. And exhale. Let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Go ahead and ripple forward back into that tabletop, untuck the toes. Okay, from here, if you have that ball, it's coming from in between the thighs to underneath your right hand. Press out into that ball. Find your stability. Okay, from here, you're gonna send that right leg back long behind you. You're gonna lift the leg. As the leg lower, it lifts, the hand rolls forward. It comes back to center lower. So you're working in unison, you're coming forward and you're pulling in. So if you don't have the ball, it's your classic bird dog here, okay? So the arm and leg lift in unison. If you have the bullet rolls forward, find center. So really challenge core stability here. Really wanna keep that core nice and strong. It's keeping you on balance. So belly button's pulling back towards the spine. The ribs are drawing to your hips. That's it, you've got it lift and lower. Can you keep the body squared down to the mat here? So arm and leg squaring towards the mat. Imagine you've got a little laser beam on your hip and on your shoulder and they're facing right down towards that mat. That's it, you've got it. 
pressing out of this left shoulder it's going to start to feel a little burny so just breathe into it that's it send it forward pull the shape back send it out pull it in that's it beautiful so really find length through that back leg really focus on the movement we're not just flying it up and down really lengthen it and then lift that's it you've got it pull it in press that shape out pull it in we're here for five that's it you've got it beautiful last four keep that shape last three beautiful give me two give me one more hold that leg up pull that arm into center okay we're going to pull so up those arms so leg is strong pulse down press up coming into a press up lift so we're really working into that right hand focusing on pressing it into that ball you've got it lower lift you can feel that left side of your chest beautiful again if you don't have the ball you're just pressing into the floor lift and lower press it here you have another six give me five really press that shoulders up towards the sky for another three last two last one hold it halfway for me pulse it out pulse it here keep that leg strong we're pulsing for five four three drive that chest for another two one come back to center lower that leg oh beautiful feeling nice and warm shake out those hips okay from here take that ball place it under your right knee find your balance flex through that right foot you're going to press into the shoulders you're going to stretch left leg long across the mat from here you're going to lift leg left towards the sky you're going to lower it down flex the foot you're then going to drive right knee into the chest bring that ball forward bring it back reset lift that leg lower it down round the shoulders pull that ball to chest knee to nose that's it there's your routine so if you don't have the ball you're lifting you're lowering and then you're driving knee to chest center so if you don't have it it's fine you can still do the movement if you have it it's just adding a little stability challenge that's it draw it in drive it back beautiful lift and lower so i really want you to focus on making sure your shoulders and your hips are driving down towards the mat nice and squared off press ball in that's it you've got it lift really drive that knee in pull belly button back towards the spine press through the shoulders beautiful you've got it here let's do another 10. reset last nine Keep that leg nice and long behind you. Last eight. Can you drive that knee further towards the face? That's it, you've got it. Really focus on the movement. For another seven. Drive. That's it, those shakes are coming. For another six. Last five. Oh my gosh, I really hope the microphone is cancelling out the noise of this ball because it's so squeaky. So I hope you can't hear it. For another three. Last two you've got it give me one more draw that knee in press it back lift that left leg pulse towards the sky pulsing here for ten nine eight drive it for another seven six find length over height for five four last three two one here drop that foot we're driving knee into chest for ten nine run through those shoulders you're here for eight last seven draw it further in for six five four knee to nose for three two one that's it release down take that ball bring it underneath your hands sink back into that child's pose sinking into those hips inhale exhale take a nice deserved breath inhale exhale sink that chest down towards the mat little reset inhale exhale okay that is enough of a rest let's go straight onto the opposite side okay so find your positioning ball under left hand drive out of those shoulders right leg's going to stretch long across the mat you're going to lift that leg up as you do that the ball stretches long across the mat it comes in draw the shape together press it out lower that leg lift lower and lift driving through that right shoulder make sure it's nice and strong so as you're doing this movement really focus on your shoulder and your hip make sure they're driving down towards the mat nice and squared that's it lower lift up 
squeeze through that right glute, hold it at the top, pull the shape in. That's it, you've got it lower. Lift, lift and lower rather. Lift and lower it down. Pull that shape in. Nice, beautiful lines here. So imagine I was taking a picture of you in each part of the movement. You want it all to be nice and strong in each part. That's it. Driving through that shoulder. That right shoulder starting to switch on. You've got it drawn in. Press it out. That's it. You're here for another six. Last five. You've got it. For four. Drive it for another three. That's it. Keep pressing out. For two. You're almost there. One more. Hold that leg up. Pull that ball in. Start to take those press ups into that ball lower and lift. Lower and press. That's it. Ball challenging our stability here. Lift and lower. Stay nice and strong through that back leg. It's really tensing through all those muscles, keeping it nice and strong. Lower and lift. That's it. You've got it nice and strong through that chest. You're here for eight. Give me seven more. Beautiful. Last six. If you need to, just don't take it so far. If you need to drop that back leg, you can as well. Give me another five. Last one. That's it. Beautiful. You've got it for another three. You're super strong in this movement for two. One more. You know it's coming. Hold it halfway. Pulse it out. Pulse it here. Drive into that ball. Pulse it for another six. Five. Last four. Three. Two. One, press it up, Ooh. upper body is shaking. Okay, that ball's going underneath your left knee this time. Find that balance, flex through that left foot. Come forward, square and shoulders, square hips. <laughs> okay, lift that right leg strong behind you. You're gonna lift that leg with control, lower it down, drive knee to nose, center, reset. That's it, you've got it really dry through those shoulders. Upper body is nice and strong. Shoulders are drawing down and back. Press it in. Reset. Lift. So as you lift that leg, staying nice and strong, not dipping into that lower back. You've got it. Press. Reset. Drive the knee. So you can definitely do this without the ball. You're just going to hover the knee off the mat. That's it. Lift. Lower. Press. Reset. Lift that back leg strong. Draw it in. Can you lift the chest up higher? Can you draw that knee in further? That's how you've got it. Press. Maximum effort here. This is where you start to see the changes. Lift. Reset. You're here for 10. You've got it for nine. You need to adjust that ball. You can. For nine. Reset. Press in. Give me another eight. Super strong here. Drive it through. For seven. That's it, you've got it. Last six, five. You've got it, press. Give me another four. Yes, you can. That's it, you've got it. I know those shoulders are burning. I'm right there with you for three. Last two. Give me one. Drive that knee. Reset. Press that, press that leg towards the sky for 10, nine, eight. Yes, you can. Nice and strong strength in that leg away from you for five, four, three, two, one. Drop that leg, draw knee in for 10, nine, eight. Lift higher out of those shoulders for seven, six, five. Belly button back towards the spine for four, three, last two, one. Beautiful, take those legs nice and wide. Take that child's pose, roll that ball out in front of you. Inhale, exhale, sink into those hips. You've got it beautiful. Inhale and exhale. Okay, last little bit. Finishing strong. Take that ball, place it in between your inner thighs. Squeeze it nice and tight. You're going to press up onto your hands for me, squeezing through those inner thighs. You're going to press back. You're going to come forward. You're going to come into a press up. If you need to drop those knees. Come back. Come forward. Press up. That's it. So in your press up, make sure you're keeping your form. So if you're dipping into the lower back, drop the knees. I'd rather you do it properly with good form rather than leading with your ego, which is just going to lead to injury. So keep it. That's it. Lift. So 
I know that I need to start dropping down because my lower back's taking over. So really listen to your body. So let's just drop it down and make sure we're executing it with correct form. That's it, press, lift, squeeze it back. You're here for another five, lower, lift. Yes, we can, lift, press back for four. <laughs> nice and strong finish. That's it, last three. Building up a bit of a sweat here, lower. Pull those triceps into the body. Last two, squeeze back, press forward, lower. Exhale, lift, one more together, lift. Press back, come forward, lower chest, lift up, press up onto those feet, hold your plank here. Hold it nice and strong, roll over those shoulders. Hold for five, four, last three, two, one, squeeze into that ball for five, four, last three, two, one, drop those knees. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, just walk your hands back. Interlace those hands behind your back, clasp the hands, open the chest, inhale. Exhale, pull those hands down towards the mat. Oh, that last little bit got me. <laughs> really nice and hot. Just sway the chest from side to side here. Really open up. Take that balls to the side. You're all done with that. Come forward. Drop the hips towards the mat, open the chest, inhale. Exhale it out. <sighs> Beautiful. And that's it. Just walk yourself back to a kneeling or seated position. Let's finish up with our breath together here. So inhale, hands come up towards the sky, eye line follows. Exhale, back to center. One more time, inhale, draw that energy into the body. Exhale, hands through heart center. Draw shoulders down and back. Thank your body and yourself for showing up today on the mat. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you do enjoy the use of props, let me know, or if you prefer body weight classes, let me know what kind of thing you prefer and we can incorporate more of it into the classes. So I really hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you next time.